Welcome one more time to my YouTube channel. Yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe, press the buttons and stuff down yeah. there. I've been uh, thinking a little bit this week, which is sometimes a dangerous thing for me, uh, but I've been thinking about my beginnings as a guitar player and the type of equipment I had available to me back then versus what sort of equipment beginner players have available to them these days. And I've been a bit curious about one particular piece of kit for some time. This here is a Boss Katana 50 Mark II. And at the moment, this piece of kit in particular is widely regarded as the ultimate in beginner anning. So perhaps this is a video for uh, those of you out there who are looking to start your journey as a guitar player uh, and want to understand just what it is something like this could do for you. So when I first started out, and you can see there that I had the, a, little, uh, a little amplifier and a bunch of pedals lying around and I would listen to songs on cassette uh, and if I if I needed to to go over a certain part of a song, I would be rewinding the cassette, uh, and it was it was a very mechanical, very hands-on process. On top of that, if you actually wanted to acquire any knowledge, as you can see in this picture, there's uh, there's uh, all, all these guitar tab books at the back there. If you needed to get your hands on some uh, guitar tablature so you could learn a particular song you had to go down to the local music shop uh, and you would have to buy like an entire album's worth of tab in one book uh, to be able to to learn a particular song uh, on top of that you used to get like the guitar magazines where every every month when an issue came out they would pick a handful of songs uh, and in, and put a, put the tab for those songs in that in that in that issue you know on top of that if you didn't have a, a good guitar teacher or somebody who really already acquired all the knowledge you were left up to your own devices to figure something out. The knowledge you need to become a guitar player should be, in this day and age, with the technology we have available to us, it should be instantly accessible. So I'm going to try and highlight why I think this amp is such a brilliant piece of kit for your beginner, for your starter, for somebody just getting into it, or somebody who just wants to be a bedroom player. When you're learning anything, you want to be able to access knowledge as quickly as you can. So you're going to be sitting at a computer, probably at a desk like this, and looking for YouTube videos, instructional videos, or... and so really this is your place to learn. So ideally you would want all your guitar stuff that you might want to interact with accessible in the same environment. And that is exactly what you get with this Boss Katana. It's, it's incredible. Thanks to this uh, Tone Studio software that, they, that you can do this. But with this you can control every aspect of the amp. This is the entire control interface for the amp. It replicates what you see on the top of the amp there, but it also gives you direct access uh, to a hell of a lot more. And here's the thing as well, like I say, I've got the master volume turned down on there. So I might be sitting here, three in the morning, parents are in bed, if you're still living with your parents, or wife's in bed, or baby's in bed, as the case may be, and I don't want to make a lot of noise. So I'm going to stick my headphones on, but how do I hear the amp then? Well, this is the other brilliant thing about it. It basically has an audio interface built in, so you can send the signal from the amp directly to your computer. Right, so the way to hear what's going on here is to use a DAW. Uh, and I use Ableton. And uh, so I, here I have, I've got a set up here. And what you want to do is you want to go to your settings uh, in your DAW, and you want to choose the Katana as your input device. When you've got this thing plugged in as, as a USB device, it will give you that option. Uh, once you've done that, you've got that accessible on your, ch on your audio channels. So you can see there I'm starting to get some signal input now and I hit my guitar. Yeah. Uh, but I'm still not hearing it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to switch this to monitoring the input. Uh, and now we can hear it. Just be aware that this is subject to latency. Um, and the way to combat that is you when you go through the process of installing all this on your PC. You also get this Katana driver setup uh, thing to install uh, and this gives you ability to control audio buffer size uh, and set some sample times and all that sort of stuff. And I found the best results there were just to s set the buffer to its lowest state. <laughs> So let's get back to the uh, the Tone Studio software there. So we've got a that's an acoustic amp at the moment, 
Um, let's have a little look through, through these controls here. So we've got our amp type, we've got our acoustic, clean, crunch, lead. Uh, let's, uh, let's try our clean amp, shall we? Oh, not so clean, a little bit of bite on it there. Let's, get the, let's give it some more volume. Quite a bit of crunch on that, actually. Let's clean it out a bit. a little dry on that let's see if we can spice it up a little bit pull some of the bass out settle the middle pump it on a bit of treble oh. all right that's nice and we've got a little bit of reverb going on actually uh, Let's take the reverb off. Nice and dry. Well, I like that reverb, so let's let's push some back in. Yeah. All right. So this middle section here is a really nice representation of basically what's going on with the signal path. Uh, so this first little section here is it says effects and chain. Well, when you see it, when it with effects selected, what you're seeing down here is all your effect sections, those five effect sections that I mentioned, your boost, uh, your mod, your FX, your delay and your reverbs. Uh, but if you click this little chain button here, this is really interesting uh, thing, you can actually change a little bit of the way that this signal path works and it explains it really nice, look at that. Guitar going in, then your boost hitting in this particular option, your boost hitting the amplifier section or the amp EQ. And then, then you've got all your other effects there in, after the amp, basically, in the chain. So some nice options there. Uh, but it's following the main rules of signal path, which is boost before amp, and then time-based effects always last, always at the end. And then you're having a bit of fun with, with everything else. Uh, so back to the effects section here. This is where you actually see what you're, you're getting. Now this is, again, this is one of the things I think is so fucking cool about this amp. Your boost section is basically a way to pick a, a boost pedal and that could be any number of things. If you look at this list here, look, clean boost, treble boost, mid boost, crunch, but then you start getting into Boss's actual pedals. Uh, so you've got a blues driver there, you've got, then you start seeing things like turbo overdrive, there's a tube screamer type option there, you've got fat DS, distortion plus, a governor type DS, a rat type uh, drive, then you got metal zone, uh, metal DS, 60s fuzz, muff fuzz, HM2, metal core, so there's so many options. And these, these all just come standard with it. You know, if this was like another piece of software from another company with emulators or plugins or whatever, you'd have to pay for every single one of these. So I'll tell you what, we've got a nice clean sound there. Why don't we uh, destroy it with a metal zone? So there you go, I've picked the metal zone and I've got all these options to control its, its sound. Let's turn it on. Okay, not really getting a lot of it there, but... Sounds just like I remember it. Absolutely shit. Um, let's pick something else. Let's go for ooh, an octave fuzz, maybe. doesn't it? I mean, I haven't even changed anything. I've just gone straight in and it's there. Lovely. Alright, so uh, skipping on, we've got modulation effects here. And we've got 
every modulation effects you could possibly ever want there. Look at that. Chorus, flange, phaser, univibe. Well, let's check their univibe out. Let's pick a more uh, tasteful drive. Yeah, okay. All right, let's go back to our modulation effects there. Turn that on. And a univibe. That's incredible. Again, I haven't even changed anything there. What else we got in here? We got tremolo, vibrato, rotary, ring modulation, slow gear, slicer. Let's have a look at the sli slicer. <laughs> Silly effect that, but it's it's nice. Auto wire. <laughs> Incredible. Uh, what else we got? Acoustic simulator, wave synth. Pitch shifter, octave. Let's let's have a look at that actually. Let's have a look at the pitch shifter. So let's let's turn our mod, modulation effects off then. Let's have a little look at our effects section. What have we got in here? Uh, more of the same. Chorus, flange, uh, phaser, univibe again, tremolo. So you can actually double up really. You've got modulation effects and then you've got more of them in here. Uh, so uh, why don't we... Ooh, harmonist phase, ooh, that phase 90 there. Let's stick some phaser on. amazing all right next uh, let's have a little look at the delays so again all of the delays are in here digital delay pan stereo analog tape echo and you've got two separate delays you can set up delays delay isn't it <laughs> Then you got your reverbs, all of that. Yeah, play, room, hall, spring, modulate, great. Uh, you then have this solo section, which I'm guessing is uh, basically like a solo boost section. And if you want to, I'm guessing this could be foot switchable. <laughs> So yeah, and you turn, yeah, you can turn that on and yeah, just more, uh, more volume. Uh, you've got a couple of controls down the end here for uh, cab resonance, so you can choose between a vintage sounding cab emulation, modern type cab emulation, deep cab emulation, um, and then you've got some uh, global uh, tone shaping options here. Uh, so yeah, just so much going on. 
Uh, you've got options for setting up your pedal effects here. Um, so if you want like an expression pedal, I'm guessing you could plug one of those into it um, to control whether that be a wah or a pedal bend or a different type of wah. And then you've got lots of different wah voicings there and options to change it. It's just so detailed. Uh, some global EQ options there. Uh, ah, here's a cool thing, noise suppressor. So let's have a look. Okay. So we got to our brown sound now. Getting quite a lot of noise there. Let's turn on the noise suppressor. Alright, not done much. Let's increase the threshold. And there you go, we've lost all the noise. The noise has gone. <laughs> Turn that noise suppressor off again. And the noise is back. So good. Christ, I mean, just ridiculous, isn't it? And you can, you know, whatever you change, you can write to patches and save all this and all that. Uh, you got a library of different settings you can acquire there. You got this tone central area. There's all these dudes who have set up various different uh, patches that you can download and install. It's just stupendous. But here's the great thing, you know, I'm hearing this now. <laughs> If I want to go to YouTube and pull up a YouTube video, what do we got? Let's have a look. Uh, la, 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 la. Yeah, if I want to go to PooTube and pull up fucking, I don't know, Metallica and jam along, I can do that. gist so yeah brilliant tool I'm doing everything right here I'm sitting at the desk I've got my guitar I'm controlling everything to do with my amp I'm controlling all of those effects every bit of sound of the amp I can record it straight into my system here uh, and I can jam along to anything I want I can pull up guitar tabs right in front of me and see everything so wow what a learning what a learning tool what a brilliant thing to have to be able to access the knowledge you need to learn how to play guitar I wish I honestly cannot say how much I wish I had one of these uh, when I was first starting out what a brilliant tool and no wonder there are so many fantastic young guitar players around these days you know I'm not going to be gigging with this anytime soon it's not going to be replacing my victory but wow am I impressed with this as a piece of kit boy do I wish I had one when I was a young lad starting out doing this absolutely do I recommend this uh, to anybody starting out for the so anyway thanks for watching I uh, hope you enjoyed the video there uh, feel free to uh, to leave a comment and tell us your experience your journey where are you uh, in your guitar playing journey what is there any piece of kit that you're using that you find particularly useful uh, in your in your learning let us know you know leave a comment uh, and don't forget to like and subscribe so thank you very much come again bye <laughs>